Hello YouTubers, I'm doing a video about the products that I use to decorate my Midori Traveler's Notebook and I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products. Um, I have these paper pads, paper packs from Target and the reason why I love these is because there are not very um, thick like cardstock and I mentioned this in my Midori uh, flip through notebook uh, flip through but see they're just they're not double sided so they're perfect for your background or maybe just to um, mat your stickers or whatever you're going to put in your Midori notebook and that way you could have a little bit of frame and you know some of the little designs picking out and they're really nice colors these are all the colors that come on this one I'm not sure if you guys can see I didn't take them out of the um, packaging but I should have done that uh, so they're really really pretty and they don't add a lot of bulk. I also like to use big images from magazines. Um, so I just rip the pages apart and then I can glue the whole thing and this will become my background. I have these two that I thought were pretty perfect. Um, this is a CT scan of James 1955 tree dress opposite page oh that's pretty cool I didn't even notice that um, so these two I thought were great they're big there's no advertisement on them so they do a good job there another thing that I really like to use is my alpha stickers and you can use thickers but they definitely add a lot of bulk so I have um these were from um, the 99 cent store. I just found them. They're regular black stickers, alphas. These are from Target. I, these are the gold ones. These are the black and gold. These are the other alpha stickers from Target from their other collection. So I have two of those. I have the white ones too. And these are from Michaels. And I really like these because they're smaller. Um, so you can write your titles um, and there's also some stickers with phrases right here and I found these 50% um, when they were having the 50% sale for their Simply Pastel uh, line, the recollections and then I have these alphas from Daiso and these do have a little bit of volume they're a little bit, um, you know, the plasticky ones but they're super kawaii, so of course I wanted to have them for my Philofax and my Midori. And then the other thing I like to use are stickers. So I have these stickers from Target as well. These are some Heidi Swap stickers. I already used one. But these are pretty cool because there's a sticker and then there's also a ring um, around so you can use it to frame a picture or um, just to add more um, you know embellishments to your pages I have this sticker I received in a rack and there are a lot of phrases that are pretty cool um, there was one that says very crafty so that was pretty nice you're so mod thank your lucky stars definitely planning using these this other set is from Recollections, the same brand as these Alphas. But these are just stickers, some tags, some hearts, some phrases. Um, this hello I really liked. So I like using stickers. And then of course you have your pictures, your postcards and pictures that you can use I have this picture I just printed and um, I'm gonna use it as my throwback uh, for my throwback challenge so I'm gonna be doing that these um, I'm definitely planning on using them they're just the 
Um, it's been a long time since I've gotten any of these. I don't know what they're called now, but um, the little strips with the negatives um, for your pictures. And then also when you um, get your pictures done, they give you these little tiny ones. So you can use those for your um, Midori as well because um, they're small. So that's another thing. Another thing you can use for your Midori that I like to use is notepads that are long because they fit the perfect dimension for your planner, for your notebook, I'm sorry. And then you have, you know, stamps. I purchased this stamp at a place we visited. And it's like a little Palomar Mountain. I hope you guys can see that. Three cents uh, stamp. So I want to put it in my notebook. And it still has like the really old glue in there. Um... So if you look, you know, if you if you go visit places, raw bonds are another thing that are good because they don't all um, they don't add a lot of bulk. Packages, I have this Kit Kat package that I purchased in San Francisco, so I definitely want to put it in my file effects um, because I don't get these a lot. <laughs> I have an old um, ticket from Disneyland when we had our um, annual passes. And then I have this awesome, just um, just this little tag they had at Pink Taco when we visited um, a few months ago. And I really like the colors and the designs, so I plan on using that. And I just have this little envelope where I keep a lot of the things that I want to use in my Midori. That way you know you don't get lost and also another thing I was gonna tip I can share with you guys is that if you have an idea if you get a if you get a package of something um, a postcard and you get an idea of what you want to journal about but you don't have the time you can just stick a post-it here and write a little bit um, you know the title maybe you want to use and the topic you want to talk about in your journaling and that way you won't forget next time you sit in your desk and you have some time to do some journaling or in your bed <laughs> um, you can then pull up your things and remember the story behind the package and why you wanted to save it and then do some journaling about it so the of course the other things you need is your scissors your you know a trimmer a cutting mat and some permanent glue runners these are perfect and of course your regular glue stick is always um, the best way to um, glue things in your notebook so I just wanted to show you guys some of the uh, examples where I've used these things of course you can also use your washi tape I have here my journaling card where I did some journaling about our um, vacation to Cancun, Mexico and then you know you have your roller stamp that you can use you can use cutouts from magazines and print out pictures and you know write titles about the spread I have this other one where I used a lot of my Hello Kitty stationery and I basically just wrote us my 365-30 list prompts for um, like two weeks worth is in just this page so I'll just show you guys um, everything I've written and there's more here and then there is this other Hello Kitty so everything Hello Kitty was in this page use washi tape use stationery but you can definitely get creative just by looking at your magazines and doing some fussy cutting of some of the images that you like okay guys i think my camera was out of focus so i hope this was okay thank you so much for watching bye